Today we're going to be going over how to disable your rear O2 sensors on Tuner Pro. So stay tuned. Let's get right into it. It's fairly simple and let me show you how. So when you open up Tuner Pro and open your bin and your XDF file like I showed you in the last videos. If you haven't watched my last videos or the videos before this, click on that playlist that's right at the bottom of this video on TikTok. And should be there on YouTube as well. They'll tell you everything you need to know to get to this point. But now that we've done that, we can open up Tuner Pro, open up our bin file and our XDF file and get to tuning. So this is one of the things that I do for every single one of the LS swaps that I do for customers um, is disable the rear O2 sensors. So it's really simple. When you open up Tuner Pro, you will see a folder that says oxygen sensors. Um, this is just for setting the settings for like long-term fuel trim or when it switches into open loop or closed loop or anything like that. So you don't need to do anything with this to disable your rear O2 sensor. All you need to do is go to the DTC folder, open it up, double click on the malfunction indicator lamp, um, enable disable and find the codes P0137 through P0147 and switch those all to zero. Um, zero means no check engine light. Uh, one is the check engine light will come on. Um, these are all the codes for bank one sensor two, which is the sensors that go after your catalytic converters. Also for bank two sensor two, it is P0157 all the way to P0167. And those will shut off your bank two sensor two. Um, what that does is doesn't allow the check engine light to come on if you have no rear O2s. And that's basically it. The, the rear O2 sensors are, are basically there for emissions. I've never had a problem with doing it this way. It doesn't really affect fuel trims or anything like that. So yeah, it's really simple, you guys. It just stops the, the check engine light from coming on when it detects that there's no rear O2 sensors plugged in. And that way, if you do live in a state that does emissions testing, I don't, thankfully. You can still go through emissions without your rear O2 sensors. That's how you disable your rear O2s. Super simple. Stay tuned for the next video, you guys. Uh, I'm going to be making it right after this one. We're going to go over um, how to enable cooling fans for if you want your cooling fans to be controlled by the PCM. Anyways, stick around for that. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. LS swap everything. And don't let anyone tell you you shouldn't. Have a good one, guys.